Welcome back to part two of the plant watering system. Today we want to set it up, uh, connect the pumps because they arrived, take a look at the updates of the website and also take a look at the changes of the code because there were quite some changes uh, for the C++ code as well as for the front end. I would say let's grab an iced coffee today because it's extremely hot here and then let's dive into the changes and what we, yeah, what we have how it looks and let's go. So I hope you grabbed your iced coffee and uh, let's take a zip and directly take a look what updates I have. Last time I set it up with the ESP32 dev board. Today I want to explore, um, yeah, to, to connect it with the C3 mini. So it's a way smaller board. I created myself a little uh, test board and a very interesting fact, I use the capacitive soil sensors. And if you put them into like air measure, put it into water measure, you get like the upper and lower bounds I thought. Um, because I set it up, put everything together, set up the like lower bound, upper bound of the capacitor, put it into the soil, and then often I measure it over 100%. Uh, percent. So today I will change the code to measure basically with the final product that I will assemble today. And also I will, yeah, create myself or set myself up a very wet soil pot and a very dry soil pot to just... Um, have the difference between like lower and upper bound just with the soil. Also, I printed myself this little caps. They basically hold the uh, pipe, the water pipe, and in there, there is the sensor. So basically they are put together like this and sit then in the soil. Uh, on this side, there's the pump. And on the other side, we have the sensor. Enough talking, let's take a look at the code changes, at the UI, and also at the um, yeah assembling. Uh, I will definitely have to change something today and I hope we will see each other before the end of this day um, and it doesn't take me longer than yeah today basically. Let's open the code. So first of all we have the sleep timer for 10 minutes. I will change it definitely to like 30 minutes or something because 10 minutes is way too often. Then I changed a bit of the general code, not too interesting. What is more interesting is the setup code because this one is basically the only code that is running um, because it is going into deep sleep while waiting to not take too much energy. So the first thing we do is like connecting to Wi-Fi, setting the pin mode to output and set it to low um, because it's important for the first round, but later on it should be low anyhow. Then we connect to the Wi-Fi, wait until it's connected and go into the details. Um, so we set like the timer to like 10 minutes uh, and the end we will start it and then we will go for every plant config. So I changed it to plant config. We will take the URL. We will fetch the plant basically. So the information, what's the desired humidity and what, how much we watered this day and already and stuff like that. So this is coming from the plant. Um, then we set the watering amount to zero because we assume we will not water and check uh, if the desired humidity is higher than the current humidity because like if it's lower then we will water and also we check if we watered already enough for today and then we check also if we uh, should water and this plant because we can also set the config to false so it will not water this plant. We first sent that we watered to the server because if it is failing then we didn't water and we the server also don't know that we watered. Um, to not like water it, fail sending, next round water it again, fail sending and so on and so forth to overwater the plant. So we will first send the data to the server and then start the watering because this should not fail basically. So this is basically the whole code of the ESP. So this one should work just fine. We will also just add a bit of test code for the humidity sensor as well. So let's take a look at the front end. 
So here we see the plant watering. So I have my plants, I have a little graph of the humidity and as we see, it's always way too high. So it's always a hundred. I just show the um, values from today. So last update was four hours ago and um, I have not watered. So let's, yeah, just fix it. Let's get the watering done and hope that it looks better. And I also want to have a second graph for the watering or like a bar chart or something. So let's dive into the soldering part, uh, connect everything and get started. Very small disclaimer, I played around now for over a day with the deep sleep and somehow the ESP32 C3 Mini behaves a bit different on the deep sleep because whenever it wakes up, it does not connect to the Wi-Fi reliable anymore. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And the weirdest effect is if I observe it, so I connected a little display to it and observed the locks because when it was on USB, all fine. Whenever it was on battery, it behaved differently. So I connected a little display and printed out all the locks on the display to see what happens. And there it sometimes connected and sometimes sometimes it didn't. And as soon as I disconnected the display, it didn't at all anymore. So it's like the, ob the observer effect from the physics when you observe it, it behaves differently. So now I switch to the ticker function from ESP. So it is not going into light sleep or deep sleep mode. So it just runs. So this definitely takes way more power than needed, but somehow it does work reliably now. If someone has an idea how to fix it with the C3 Mini, I am happy to test it out. Please let me know down in the comments. Happy to jump on the code and take a look because now I am more than frustrated with the deep sleep and wake up mode. Uh, it's very hard to debug and it's very unreliable. But let's continue with the rest of the video. I have some very dry and some very wet uh, plants here. So this one is very wet and here I have a very dry one to calibrate the sensor. I will put this one in here to measure the very wet one and then the other one for very dry. So calibrating the soil sensor and then we'll set up the whole thing and it pumps. And here the water comes, it waters the plant, the rose is watered. It works. Nice. So as you saw in the video, I set up the whole system. It works now with the humidity sensor and the pump. The water is pumped whenever the humidity is going to low. Uh, you can configure it from the web UI. So now the only thing that is missing is adding the other sensors. So currently I have one in place. I will add at least two more. Then I will also add a bar chart to see whenever it was watered in the UI and maybe add some more logic. But yeah, all in all, it works quite well. Uh, the UI was written in Next.js. So if you're interested in Next or Daisy UI or any other components I used, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you want to participate in the project, also happy to accept any PRs. I will link down the repositories for the C++ code as well as for the UI. If you saw in the video, the K11, uh, I use it quite often. Very nice keyboard. If you are interested in it, see the other video. So my last video, I am planning to build another keyboard soon. Uh, because I am in love to build keyboards or I love building keyboards and it is a quite nice hobby and I also want to explore a bit more other key mappings. Yeah, I, I definitely will continue working on the project. I will use it in my free time, but don't expect another video on it. If you are interested in any of the things, let me know down in the comments. I will try to answer it as well as if needed or interested can add another video on it. Happy coding. See you next time. Uh, it was a pleasure. And yeah, have fun.